Welcome back. In this video, I'm going to show you how to make this really awesome fake Christmas hot chocolate. The little cupcake that you see over there on the left, I'll show you how to make that one in a separate video. So look in the description box and down in the comments, and I'll have a link to that one. All right, friends, let's make another super fun fake bake. Yes, I know this is like a drink. Um, but I don't call it fake bake because that's just what I do. But you're going to need a glass, whatever glass you want to use. I got this one at Dollar Tree. How cute is that? So let's take the label off. Like I said before, the label police will come get you. We have rubbing alcohol and we have some paint. Hold on, let me get a paper towel. Now, before I paint glass like this, because we are going to be putting things down inside of it. And if you're not careful, when you put things down inside of it, it's going to scratch the paint. And then you're going to see the scratches from the outside. So what I like to do is get a new roll of paper towels that you have to sit here and fight to get open. Um, and then take your rubbing alcohol. And we are going to put some on our paper towel. Just soak it. And then you're going to thoroughly clean the inside of this glass. Okay. And then let that dry. That is going to help your paint to really, really stick, okay? Because if this has oil from your hands or, you know, manufacturing processes, whatever, you don't know what these poor glasses have been through, <laughs> they need to be cleaned, okay? So now let that sit there and let it dry, and then we're going to move on to painting it. Okay, now let's choose whatever color paint you want. I got this melted chocolate color. This is from Apple Barrel. I didn't want the matte, but in my stores, it's kind of slim pickings right now as to what paints are available and this is just what they had so that's why i got it Ooh, it bubbled <laughs> so now i'm just going to take my brush here or my little sponge you use whatever you want to use to paint and we're just going to paint the inside of it and we'll make sure that i get down there into the bottom okay like so and then we're going to paint this i want to put on two or three coats okay and you see how i'm just kind of I don't want to bring it all the way up. I want it to look like, you know, there's a drink in it, okay? So I'm not going to bring it all the way up. I'm just kind of bringing it up. Well, you can see. About a half inch or so below the rim of the glass, okay? So after I paint this, I'm going to let it dry. And then I'm going to put on a second coat, okay? So two coats, possibly three. We'll see how it goes. Anyway, I'll be back once that is done. Doki. so our paint is dry and you see i like how it dips down here it just makes it look i think more realistic and i think i said a while ago if you want to paint it all the way up to the top edge then do that but i like how it dips down like this because you know when you're putting your whipped cream on your drink or like if you get it at starbucks or something you can see how the whipped cream you know doesn't always go all the way up to the top of the container or the uh, top of the drink it's kind of jaggedy it's not flat at least in my experience but anyway let's talk about the frosting, the whipped cream, rather, that we're getting ready to put on this. So I use this Fast and Final Lightweight Spackling, okay? It needs to be lightweight. This says that it is fast drying, 30 minute paint ready if you're putting it on your walls, okay? But anyway, the lightweight kind. This container is very large. I get it by the gallon. I got this at Lowe's. You can find smaller containers at Walmart and sometimes Dollar Tree will carry itty bitty little containers of it. I don't think that getting it at Dollar Tree is cost effective. I like these bigger containers. Just depends on how many you're going to be making. But when you pick up the container, it's going to be very light for its size. That's how you know that you've got the right stuff. If you get the regular spackle, it's a lot heavier. And as you pipe it on, it's going to spread out and it's going to ruin your project. Okay, it's not going to keep its fluffy texture. But anyway, I just have a piping bag here that you would use like, you know, to decorate cakes with. You put your frosting in it. And I fitted it with a 1M star tip. This is the size tip I use, 1M. And so let me see, I had a vase here. Hold on a second. So I like to put it down inside of a vase and I'm not gonna be using very much of this. So I did kind of cut my bag just to make this easier. If you have like a drinking glass or like the tall vases from Dollar Tree that doesn't flare out, that's gonna work a lot better for you. But you know what? This is what I had. So I'm just gonna take a spoon and you see how like light 
light and frothy. I just watched uh, Willy Wonka <laughs> turns it up, makes it light and frothy. So I'm just going to put some down in here. And you don't need a whole lot. Like I said, this is just for this project here. And you really don't need a lot. This is too much. But um, I have some more of my fake cupcakes that I'm going to be making. So I'm going to use this for my cupcakes as well. All right. Make sure that you put the lid back on this because you don't want it to harden up, to dry out. You want to keep it sealed. Okie dokie. So now we're going to get this out of the way. Let's put this in our piping bag and I'm just gonna squeeze it till it gets all the way down to the piping tip. Paper towels, you can use whatever you want to fill this up, okay? I'm just gonna be using a handful of paper towels, but if you have garbage <laughs> or if you have, um, you like extra wrapping paper, whatever you wanna cram down in there, just put whatever it is in there that you wanna fill this up with, okay? If you use styrofoam bottles, people say, well, you can't use something you know, biodegradable, you know, things that you're going to throw away. Anyway, put what you want to put in here, okay? Quit listening to people. Put what you want to put in here. But anyway, hold on. My cat was trying to come in. But anyway, once you have something crammed down in there, now you're just going to take this and you're just going to fill up your glass here however full you want it, just like you're piping on frosting or whipped cream. I'm trying to tuck that down in there. Now, I'm trying to do this so that y'all can see what I'm doing is such an odd angle to try to do this. Okay. Now that's going to be the flattened top there. You can take your spoon, just kind of flatten it down a little bit if you want to, just to make sure it's kind of packed down in there, filling up any little, any little spaces that you have, depending on, I don't know what all you're going to use to fill up your glass, but <laughs> you know, you don't, you don't want any gaps or spaces. So then you're just going to keep putting it on your cup here just to fill it up see this hopefully it was not going to fall off now where do my sprinkles go okay so now for our sprinkles i'm going to be using these little clay sprinkles okay can you see what all's in here we have some peppermint candies just some regular sprinkles little gingerbread man there's little gingerbread houses i got this off of amazon and i'm going to put a link in the comments and down in the description box where you can get this on amazon this tiny little bag, you can get a lot of crafts out of this, okay? But anyway, I've got some paper towels here. And I'm just going to sprinkle on the sprinkles <laughs> on these paper towels so I can put them back into the container and not waste any. Now, some people say, oh, my sprinkles don't stick. Well, I'm sorry if your sprinkles don't stick. What you can do after, please do this after your spackle has set up, then you can go over it with like a clear spray sealant. I like the Krylon Triple Thick Crystal Clear Glaze. You can get that at Walmart. Let me just shake off the excess here. Um, if you want to seal yours, that's fine. But like I said, please wait until the spackle has set up completely before you do that, okay? Um, someone had left a nasty comment saying, well, I made what you showed to make and it fell apart and it did this and it did that and come to find out she had sprayed the sealant on it while the spackle was still wet. And so, you know, she had sealed in all of that moisture and of course, why, I don't know why you would seal something that's wet, but okay. Um, look at that mess I just made. Oh my gosh. <laughs> but anyway, that was the problem with hers. So I'm going to let this sit here for a minute. And then I'm going to top it off with a little gingerbread man and maybe a peppermint candy or two. We'll see what it looks like. Okay, so now we have this and I'm just going to put this little gingerbread man in there. And this is very lightweight. I made this out of foam clay. If you give me a minute, let's put this together. And then I'm going to show you how to make this little gingerbread guy here. You, but listen, you can use a Christmas ornament. You know, sometimes you can find the little gingerbread ornaments. Walmart has them. I've seen them at Hobby Lobby. I don't know about Michael's. I haven't been to Michael's in a bit. Um, but whatever little gingerbread man you want to use, I'm just going to stick him down in the top here so gently. There we go. And now these little peppermints. These were the plastic peppermints I had cut off of one of the uh, little Christmas trees from Dollar Tree. And I kept them because I don't want to waste it. I didn't want to throw them away. And I'm like, mm, I can use them for something. And now this straw here. This is just a straw that I've cut into pieces that I got at Starbucks the other day. So let's just stick that down in there. And there is our Christmas drink. Now you can stick another gingerbread man in there. I, I know I have another one around here somewhere. Oh, this is another one that I made. This one here. 
We can put that there as well. There we go. See, and there is your fake hot chocolate. But anyway, let me get this out of the way and I'm gonna show you how I made that little gingerbread man. All right, so let's talk about the little gingerbread people that I made. This is foam clay. Now, this is nothing new. Foam clay has been around for a long time. Uh, cosplayers use it to make their big elaborate costumes. And then once this stuff dries, it is so lightweight. It like, hardly has any weight to it at all. Um, if you go to the Ren Fairs, and you know what I'm talking about, a lot of people use this. And the kind that I used to use came in a bucket. But this stuff you can get on Amazon. Once again, I'm going to have a link for you in the comments and in the description box. They have several different colors, so you don't even have to worry about coloring it yourself. But this is very, very lightweight. It has a really weird texture, okay? So if you're one of those people that, you know, texture gets to you, this has got such a weird texture. But it's very, it's very foamy. As you can see, it's very foamy. It almost feels damp. But anyway, just take out however much you want. That's actually a lot. I'm not going to use all that. And then think of it like Play-Doh. You just, you know, mold it and play with it. And stretch it like Play-Doh. I like to work with it just for a second. Please make sure that your hands are clean. You don't want dirt and stuff sticking in this. And then I like to lay down a piece of parchment paper to stop this from sticking to the table, okay? So then you just roll it out. You just roll it out. And I use this non-stick rolling pin. Just roll it out however flat you want it. However thin. Oh, there's a bead. Get away. Get away. All right, let's just roll it out. Now I'm going to be using a cookie cutter. A little gingerbread man cookie cutter like so just press it down and then let's just pull our foam off <laughs> this is fun this stuff is so fun and now you want to try to take this out without putting finger marks and it sometimes you can just take this foam and just press it like so and it just comes right out now just let that lay there and dry for 24 to 48 hours and once it is dry, you'll have an incredibly lightweight something that you can use for all of your fake bake decorating, okay? Now, how do I decorate this with the cookies or to look like the cookies? I just used puffy paint, okay? And I got this at Walmart. Whatever kind of paint you want to use, but I like this puffy paint because the nozzles are very precise. But once this dries, just paint it and then use it in your projects. So anyway... I hope that you enjoyed this video. If you would, please give it a thumbs up. Click subscribe. Check me out on other forms of social media. The links to all of which will be in the description box down below. And I will see y'all next time.